Hi everyone, Rhonda back again. Another day, another dish. This dish today is very simple. Of course, all my dishes are simple. Uh, I'm making mutton, cabbage, kumro, that's red pumpkin, and potato curry. Okay? Now, this 500 grams mutton, which I've cleaned and washed, kumro, you can see this is about 250 grams. Potatoes, I've used three, one large and two small again, and cut them like this. Cabbage, I've used half a small cabbage, and cut it in four and opened up the leaves like this. Two small tomatoes, which I'll be slicing while doing the curry. Onions, I've used three onions. One I've put with my masalas and two I've minced like this. Now the masalas have one onion, three-four teaspoon turmeric, one onion, three-four teaspoon turmeric, uh, coriander, one tablespoon, cumin, one teaspoon, either whole, okay? You can use powder also. Coriander, cumin, ginger 1 inch and garlic 12 cloves. Uh, coriander, cumin, ginger, garlic, onion. Yeah, that's it. This is the masala. Like I say, if it's not here, it will be in my written recipe. So, go through both. Okay, now these are the ingredients. Now, meet me at my stove. I'll be starting my curry. Okay, come meet me at my stove. I'm starting. I've heated my pressure cooker. Now, adding the usual half cup mustard oil. Now, you use any oil of your choice. If you're using mustard oil, like I always say, burn it till the raw smell leaves. Half. Or I'd like to tell all of you something. I go into so much detail. It's not for you experts, okay? Because there's a lot who are following me and learning. So that is why I'm going to such details and showing everything. I'm not trying to teach you experts. Because you all know and you all have your own style and routine as well. Alright, now let this heat and then... Alright, the oil is hot, it's steaming, now I'm adding the onions. Now when they get golden brown, I'll add the masala. Alright, my onions are nice and golden brown, you can see, lightly golden. Now, putting it on the same and adding the masala. I forgot to mention I soaked as usual 7 Kashmiri chilies in hot water without uh, the seeds. Now I'll allow, I'll allow the oil to surface. Five minutes high heat, like I always say, please check in between. If 
be getting touch add a sprinkling of water and release the residue. Okay, now it's on high, cover five minutes. Alright, five minutes high is over. As usual, I added the sprinkling of water twice and remove the residue now. the water I soak my chilies in and then I rinse the jar where I brown the masala in. So I'm adding this half cup. Now this is cook on low five minutes. Okay five minutes Low is over. Oil has released. Now, I have the muffin. Mix all for well combined and now I'll cook covered on low for another 5 minutes. Look how lovely my curry is looking. The martyrs have blended well in the gravy, dissolved. Now, I told you 5 minutes low, but I kept it for 10, allowing more liquid to come out from the meat. More of its own juices. Okay, now I'm adding, I'll use my oil maker. Now I'm adding a cup of water. It's two half cups. This is the water my chilies were soaked in and the jar was rinsed with that same water. Okay. Just a cup of water. And after the whistle, being mutton, I'm keeping it 12 minutes on sim. Alright, now I put it on high. After the whistle, 12 minutes on sim. Okay, repeating myself again. After the whistle, 12 minutes, and I'll wait for the steam to escape. And then I'll get back with the rest of the procedure. Okay, the steam has escaped. I told you 12 minutes, but I kept it for 10. I then have to soften the potatoes as well. Look how lovely the gravy and the mutton is looking. Wow. Eating it. Let me add the potatoes. potato like this small to match the mutton pieces but you can cut it to any size as it's your curry when you make it 
like I always say, add more or less. The direct method can be used. You don't have to use the pressure cooker. Now let the potatoes cook in this. pumpkin which is called kumuro here now it's on high okay five minutes okay five minutes is up the potatoes and the pumpkin red pumpkin Right now, I add a cup of water. One, two, two and a half is left to me as well. Put it. Now, after the whistle, five minutes on sim. Again the steam will escape, I'll open it and then we the end. Now it's on high, after the whistle, five minutes on low, the steam will escape, then I'll come back and continue the end. Okay? Softening of the potato is over. After the whistle, five minutes, and I allow the steam to escape. And here's my lovely curry. Wow, just look at this. Follow my way, you will get the same turn. Alright, let me first check the muffin is done, yes. Okay, just put it. Pumpkin. Okay, now the last. I'm adding the cabbage. a cup of water. And I'll cook this for another five minutes. It will come to a boil. When I cook it for five minutes, the cabbage will be done. And my curry will be over. Then I'll give it a standing time of the normal 20 minutes. Plate it, take pics and show it. Just five minutes. All right, my 20 minutes standing time is over. Here's my delicious curry. Everything done and ready. Now I'll be plating it, taking out the pics, writing my written recipe for all of you. Okay. Okay, so this is it. Now I'll take your leave, tell you all bye, see you all tomorrow most probably. And I'll be plating it and doing as I told you a little earlier. So bye, thank you for being with me.
for following my recipe. Take care. Stay safe. Alright? Bye.